Obviously we have our height adjustment here. Pretty impressive what you're able to do with this. Look at that. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the BenQ e-reading lamp in blue. I did receive this sample from BenQ, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. There'll be two links to choose from. Amazon US will take you to an Amazon live stream featuring this product. You can shop the carousel and find it there. There's also Amazon International. That'll take you directly to the product page, regardless of the country that you're in, if it's available in your market. So. Retail box and packaging looks great. It's available in multiple colors. We got gold and blue, silver and pink. Great product imagery on the side to see it in action. And on this side, we have a couple of our key features here. Wide beam angle, intelligent ambient light detector. And we have the ability to customize our controls to modify the brightness and temperature to our own preferences. Behind me, you may have noticed, we actually have the silver version of this on display right here. And the second style, a little bit cheaper, we don't have the swing arm in gold. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up we have our product literature featuring our service information and our quick start guide. The quick start guide's available in multiple languages with charts and diagrams showing you how to set up and install your e-reading lamp. We have our controls as well, going over everything you need to know right there for you. Next, we have our power supply and adapter with BenQ's logo and branding. We have our nice Allen wrench tool to properly install everything. We have a super heavy, at least 10 pounds base. This base plate is so heavy. Don't drop it on your foot, people. You've been warned, that would hurt so bad. And then lastly, we have the lamp itself. Take a look, our beautiful blue braided power cable matching the finish on the lamp. Our nice swing arm design right here with BenQ's logo and branding. It is an all metal construction. Take a look at the beautiful blue metallic finish on the top of it with our control knob and our touch ring right here. Flip it around, try to look at the underside. Really nice diffusion. This is really the key to this product. It gives you such a nice light and viewing experience. Got our swivel head so we can rotate this up or down to the left or to the right. And then with our joint right there, we have our extension and height adjustment. Now let's go ahead, let's get everything set up. Installation, simple and straightforward. We have our base unit and the lamp itself, and we're gonna line this portion of this to the base right here. And it's just gonna gently be pressed on. And then you'll notice we have this little set screw, whatever you wanna call it on the back side, that we're gonna use the included Allen wrench to tighten it in place. So just line them up, drop it in, press. There we go. Now it's time for us to use that included tool to just gently tighten everything nice and snug. Like so. Ta-da! So we have it installed and you'll notice technically they're connected here, but I wouldn't recommend holding them separately. Again, this piece is so heavy that would really hurt your foot, give you a lot of pain if that landed on you. So we have our full rotation down below, as you'll notice here. We can go all the way around as many times as we want, just paying attention to the cord getting a little tangled, but that's it. It's all installed now. We're ready to go ahead, take our power cord, connect it to the power supply adapter and plug everything in. Now with it plugged in, we just touch the ring anywhere you want, even in the center and that will turn it on and off. I want to point out with the controls for this light, we have a couple different options. First, we have our auto dimming modes. You're going to hold down the touch ring for two seconds. And now you'll see we have our orange indicator light on. This is going to be our book reading mode. So if you're reading a book, that's the mode you're going to want. It's going to auto adjust the brightness and the color temperature for you to give you the best result. We can hold it down for another two seconds. Ta-da, now we're in the screen reading mode. That's giving us the green indicator right there. Same thing, but now if you're looking at a screen, this is gonna give you the best color temperature and brightness for your lighting environment. But don't worry if you wanna tweak it yourself, that's what this knob is for right here. So we have the ability to adjust both the brightness and the color temperature with this knob. So we're adjusting the brightness right now. 
and then we can just click it in again and now we're gonna tweak and adjust the color temperature. So let's look at that with the lights off. So you're looking at the color temperature right here at our coolest setting. That's gonna be about 5,700 Kelvins. And then we can warm it up to about 2,700 Kelvins, or you can land somewhere in between. Just making really fine tune adjustments. You have a lot of different settings for this to get exactly where you want to be. Now let's click in again. We're gonna adjust the brightness. So we're at our max brightness. This ranges anywhere from 250 lumens up to 1,000 lumens at 40 centimeters. But let's dim it. Let's increase the brightness again. Back down. And let's do that one more time, but let's do it at the warmest color temperature. So you get a feel for that. So max brightness at basically 2,700 Kelvins. There's our minimum, or you could land somewhere in between. Now let's try out the auto dimming modes. Hold down the ring for two seconds. We're in book reading mode right here. It auto adjusted for us. Now let's get to our screen reading mode. So you have a lot of different control options depending on your lighting environment. Now I wanted to touch on the stand again and the different configurations we have with this particular lamp. Here's kind of our portable mode, whatever you want to call it. Everything all tucked away as low, as small as we can get. Obviously we have our height adjustment here. Pretty impressive what you're able to do with this. Look at that. So it's so tall it's out of frame. Try to put it in frame a little bit, but you get the idea here. Try to go all the way up. I mean, that's pretty impressive there. But realistically, if you do want to have this on your desk, you have quite the range to get over a monitor, things like that. And we can adjust that top height more as well. So there's like a low option here. That's as low as that arm will go and bend. And then we saw it go all the way up. And if you'll notice, it actually extends backwards, right? And then you could pivot this head again if you wanted to do an interesting or different setup. You have that ability there. Then we can tip it back this way and land somewhere else in between. Again, just depending on what we're after. So we have great options with these two pivot points to really adjust this however we see fit. And up at the top, again, the head rotates. Technically, you could do 360, but it's really hard to maneuver this. And you kind of have to put a lot of pressure on it. So it's best just to adjust the head, in my opinion, up or down and a little bit to the left or to the right as needed and take advantage of the swiveling option there to rotate it around or actually physically just move the lamp base where you would prefer to have it. But very functional and practical there. Everything works great and I love all the movement options. So let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to the BenQ e-reading lamp. You may have noticed I have quite a few behind me. The family's growing. We added the blue genie, but the swivel arm is the way to go. If you can afford the extra couple of bucks, you'll appreciate having the swivel arm design versus the genie. Nothing wrong with the genie, but if you're paying all this money for a premium desk lamp, you might as well get the one that gives you the most versatility. That being said, you definitely get what you pay for. The quality is top notch with this lamp from how it's built, the parts and components. And I can speak to the longevity with the two behind me that have been running for, I think close to a year now. I've had zero flickers issues or anything like that. With the LED technology, I think they're rated 40, 50,000 hours, somewhere around there, give or take. But I really, have enjoyed them, they look great, they work great. It's hard to showcase the diffusion and things like that, but that's really what you're getting with this lamp is a fantastic viewing experience, whether you set it yourself or you wanna take advantage of the auto dimming modes for both a physical paper book or if you're looking at another screen or display, you would definitely be happy having this in your setup. Yes, it's an investment, but to the right people out there that spend a lot of time at their desk, near their computer, you want to have a great light that will last you for years to come, but also provide you with a fantastic experience day in and day out. When you think about it from that lens, it's really not that expensive at all.